All right, guys, we made it to the bluegrass pond over here at the dairy in Springfield, Kentucky. Uh, I got a fluke on. The water is a lot more clearer now that it's coming more to fall. Uh, during the summer, it was just really dirty because they had nothing but their pumps on, pumping out whatever they're doing. So I'm hoping that this cold weather bass are going to hit. I got a fluke tight on, a little mojo rig. Found a new way to tie it, then hopefully it's working out. And I'm trying a little slither rig as well with the uh, rage crawl and thick wire wide gap hook so uh, I'm gonna go down here to this side uh, it's where the currents going I got to cross around here on the uh, overpass where the creek runs down so you guys can actually see this area for once but the currents going this way I'm gonna toss the fluke over here towards the shore hopefully that'll do a little little damage and get a big one a small one I don't care about size, I just want numbers today. It's uh, 57 degrees out in Kentucky, and uh, I like it. I, honestly, I can't wait for winter. I've been waiting for it. I want to go back to Minnesota and fish on the ice. Hopefully, I'll probably get my cousin to take me back up there when I first started my YouTube. And uh, mentioning first started, it's almost Halloween. After Halloween, one month after Halloween, I've been on YouTube for a year. Kind of a great accomplishment. Now I got this chest cam, bring it out of the closet, using it. So uh, hopefully I'll get some more videos, better videos with this. So uh, I'll catch you guys down in the water. I'm done talking. It's probably a long intro. So uh, let's get some fish. All right, guys, it's probably bad lighting. I can't really see my uh, my screen on my DSLR. But I just want to show you guys the uh, pond we're looking at. Like, look at this is not even a pond. It's a huge lake. Like bluegrass pond, like that goes on forever back there. Like, how is this even a pond? Oh, there we go. First fish of the day on that slither rig. Small one. Man, we know where they're at now. Ooh, right through the eye. Look at that, guys. Hopefully not pull his eye out. Oh, I went straight through his eye. I'm sorry, little buddy. Yeah, his eye's gone. Yeah, he's going to go blind in that eye. Uh, nothing I could do about that. But uh, other than that, he's a good one. So uh, let's make sure he's going to swim off. He's good. First one of the day on that uh, slither rig. So uh, that beefy hook went straight through his eye. I feel terrible now, but I mean... There's nothing I could do about it, guys. He ate it. I set the hook. Well, I, re I really didn't set the hook. I kind of just reeled in. But uh, we know where they're at now, a little bit. If we can get one more here, we know what they're hitting. And if it slows down, we'll slow down the presentation a little bit. Uh, make the profile smaller. So uh, let's fix this little line, line it all up. There we go. It's all good to go. All right, guys, I didn't make a good transition because my camera died. So now I'm on reserve battery. Uh, I'm going to throw the square bill. If it gets hung up or doesn't catch anything, I'll switch to a uh, small Ned Brig because I know it catches the smallies in here. And the uh, spots and the good old creek bass, whatever you want to call them. But I'm at the creek now, and you might hear the cars. So I'm going to go ahead and start casting in here, if I can even cast good, and hopefully pull up one. It's really shallow, so I hope it's not a problem. And I already got one. Oh, yeah. Look at that. 
my first cast, guys. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh okay. Ooh, chill out. Hooked on the outside of the mouth. There we go. Alright, to tell if this is a spotted bass or a uh, large mouth is, feel the roof of the mouth right there, or not the roof, but the tongue, and it's smooth, not rough, so this is a uh, good old creek large mouth bass. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, get this guy on a release. This will be my last cast. It's been dead for the past hour after I left the creek. This pond is just so bipolar. I'm hitting all the cover. They're just not there. Or they're not hitting. Uh, yep, that's it, guys. I'm going to call it a day on this. And uh, I'll meet you guys back at the studio right about now. Um, I'm sitting here editing this video, and I realize that it's kind of short, and I really didn't transition well, so looking back at this footage, I'll, I realize what I need to work on next time. So, I mean, go ahead and let the critics go down in the uh, comment down the section below, whatever my story is. But, no, compared to my other videos that I've had with this GoPro, I mean, this, this video has been a lot better than what it previously was only because of that chest mount. This chest mount and all the other mounts I got is going to come in the key really fast. So, I mean, this I'm I'm really proud of this video. The way it turned out, I mean, I'm getting used to the angles of the GoPro. I'm getting used to all what it's going to see and all that. So, I mean, other th other than that, this video is not that bad compared to my other ones. This video is really good. And if you guys see the blur on the screen, it's only because uh, that I have a chip on my camera lens, so seeing that ca a chip on the camera lens is going to be minor for a little bit until I get money to get a new GoPro. Other than that, this channel is going to be really good. I'm hoping to boost my uh, subscriber rate up. That way I can reach out to more people. Just this video is going to be really good. I'm, just, I'm excited for what's going to come, guys, and I hope you guys are excited too. So I will... See you guys on the next video. Tight lines.